Amen. Well, good morning, everyone. Here at First Colony, we love children and uh, we love families. We want you to be part of the worship service. And uh, that's why we have this incredible uh, visual for you. Now, for those of you that like fire, we got fire. All right. I'm, I'm looking to uh, Mr. I in the back because, you know, I, I want to make sure that he's happy. All right. Well, this was really cool. So this last week, I had the opportunity to go to Camp 1010. And while at Camp 1010, we had so much fun, I lost my voice. And it's like, that's okay, because I didn't have to speak on Sunday. And I'm gathering my voice back. And then on Wednesday, my kids are like, Dad, the youth are having like a super cool scavenger hunt. We need an adult to drive. It's like, okay, yeah, we'll do that. I lost my voice on Wednesday, and I wasn't totally recovered. And then it's like, okay, no problem. We got a few days. Well, then we had zoo camp on Friday night, and I lost my voice again. And it makes me think about how incredible our voice is. And why do we come to church? We come to church to worship God. We come to church to glorify God. And whether it's your voice or your actions, whatever it is, are you worshiping God? Now, the verse that I wanted to focus on today comes to us from Luke chapter 19. And if you remember the story, Jesus is heading into Jerusalem. And the people are saying, glory to God, which is coming up. You know, Reader's Digest, Cliff Notes. Be excited. And the Pharisees said, stop them from singing. This is not cool. And Jesus said, if I stop them, the rocks will cry out. So I have an illustration of a pipe. And this pipe, I'm going to heat up. And uh, hopefully, this pipe will sing. Are you ready? What's cool is you can pour a little bit of that sound in and try to get it to come back. What? Mind blown. I know. Isn't that awesome? <laughs> that just blows my mind. So bottom line, we are here to worship God. And you have a voice. You have a body. You have actions. It's not just Sunday. It's not just during the singing. But I challenge you, worship God so that the pipes don't have to do it. And as we know, the stars are doing it right now as we are here in the presence of God. So worship God with your voice. Thank you very much. <laughs> 